I'm going to show you my version of the Brooklyn Blackout Chocolate Cheesecake. Let's get started. For the chocolate cake, you need two cups of cake flour, three-fourths cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon salt, two teaspoons baking powder, one and a half teaspoon baking soda, one cup brown sugar, one cup white sugar, four eggs, three-fourths cup evaporated milk, three-fourths cup of oil, one tablespoon vanilla, one teaspoon instant coffee powder dissolved in one cup of hot water. For the chocolate cheesecake, you need two cups of cream cheese or 450 grams, one third cup of cocoa powder, two thirds cup sugar, two tablespoons of black cocoa, one half cup of all-purpose cream, 100 grams of bittersweet, dark, or milk chocolate melted, three whole eggs, and one egg yolk. For the ganache, you need one cup all-purpose cream, one half kilo of chocolate. You can use bittersweet, semi-sweet, dark, or milk chocolate. For the cheesecake, uh, this one, my cream cheese is a little bit uh, cold, so I'm going to soften this first. If your cream cheese is soft, you can add the sugar, but I need to soften the cream cheese first. All right, we will add the sugar now. We have here one egg yolk. Three whole eggs. You add the egg one at a time. You mix it very well before you add in the next egg. All right, let's scrape the bowl. And then the last one. The cocoa powder. This is the regular cocoa powder and this is the black cocoa powder. We just need it for the dark color because it's a blackout cheesecake. So it means it should be dark. And then you have all-purpose cream. If you do not have black cocoa powder, you can add uh, black coloring. Here I melted the chocolate in the microwave about 30 seconds or you can uh, melt it in a double boiler. I like the microwave, it's faster. All right, you have to pour this while it's warm because if you pour this when this is no longer warm, what happens is you get, instead of a smooth chocolate mixture, you get specks of the chocolate because the chocolate will set. Since the cream cheese is cold, Okay, this is ready now. So we prepare our baking pan. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a spring form pan, so what I'm going to use is a ring mold. Okay, even if you're using a spring form pan, unless you have the one uh, the special one which is non-leak, they will all leak. So you need to put foil. Well, especially with this because this this is a ring mold. It means it has no bottom. And we pour this. The ring mold is 9 inches. You can also use an 8. But if you use an 8, make sure that your cake is also an 8. We're going to bake this bain marie, meaning we're going to steam bake. So it means we're going to put water. You put water about 1 inch. Use half water. About 1 inch. Not more because it's going to float. So 325 for about 40 minutes. We have here uh, cake flour, two cups cake flour. You can also use two cups all-purpose flour if you want the cake a little bit heavier, a little bit denser. Then you have white sugar, brown sugar. By the way, always sift the flour before you measure. Then we have salt. You have baking powder, baking soda, cocoa powder, all right, 
you mix this together. Don't sift this again because you can't sift the brown sugar unless your uh, sifter is uh, has bigger holes. Just make sure you sift the flour before you measure and then you don't have to sift it again. All right. And then we add the liquid ingredients. Oil, regular cooking oil or any neutral oil. You have evaporated milk. You have vanilla. Then you have four eggs, four whole eggs. If you're not sure your eggs are fresh, separate it, uh, uh, break it in another bowl. Then you have water. This is hot water. Dissolve the coffee. The coffee is only used, used to intensify the flavor of the chocolate. It's not to give it a coffee flavor. But you know, every time you add uh, coffee to chocolate, it brings out the full flavor of the chocolate. You don't need a mixer for this, but if you want to use a mixer, you can go ahead. And then we add in the coffee. Mixture should be uh, hot. And then we're going to put this in two 9-inch round layer cake pans. So if your uh, cheesecake is 9-inch, your chocolate cake should also be 9-inch. Because we're going to sandwich this or put them together. All right, here. Uh, please line this with parchment paper. Don't be alarmed because the mixture is really watery or runny. This will give you a moist chocolate cake. If you want to replace uh, the chocolate cake with your favorite chocolate cake recipe, you can do that. All right, then we put this in a 340 degree oven for about uh, 30 minutes or until it's done. Let's make the ganache. I have here all-purpose cream. We bring this to a boil. Once it boils, you shut it off and then we add in the chocolate and then we stir until the chocolate is completely melted. All right, here you can see it's boiling now. So we shut off the heat and then we add in the chocolate. You chop the chocolate, the smaller you chop the chocolate, the faster it will melt. Okay, there's no more heat. First, you let it soak for maybe um, uh, two minutes and after that you stir it, all right? All right, it's smooth now. See, I so don't see any lumps. So we set this aside, don't chill this, just keep this at room temperature until you're ready to assemble. If it hardens or it becomes too difficult to spread, you can always uh, put it on a pan of hot water so it will soften and it will melt a little bit again, right? Alright, our uh, chocolate cake is done. There, see? Our cheesecake is not yet done. The sides are done but the middle is a little bit jiggly. So I will uh, bake this for another 10 minutes and then we're ready to take this out. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. I'll put a little ganache on the board so that the cake uh, will be steady. We'll put more ganache here. So that the uh, cheesecake will stick. So here I am trying to remove the our cheesecake. Okay. And then some more ganache. So the cake will stick. Right. 
slowly bring it down to the sides until you have covered it completely. Our Brooklyn Blackout uh, chocolate cheesecake. You can decorate it whatever way you want to. I just made it a little festive. 